All right, you guys, so I get asked all the time, what is it that I do? Can people spend a day with me? Can they spend a week with me? To see how in the world do I be a busy mom and run a full-time six-figure business from home. So I decided to take some clips of my day, and obviously I had to speed it up. Um, but I start my day making up my bed, and I like spraying some good old-fashioned nice spray. And I have a special visitor with me this week, y'all, my nephew. Now I'm over here combing Yaya's hair, getting her ready for her homeschool teacher appearance. Um, I get my kids ready every day, even though they are homeschooled. Um, I want them to care so much about their appearance, which is definitely a success goal. So that's just me putting in her favorite peppermint spray, brushing her hair. It took me in real time about five minutes to get this hairstyle out of the way. Um, I enjoy these moments with my daughter, so you see me laughing because we talk and yeah, we're having a good old time. And right after I finish up her hair, it's JoJo's turn. So he um, is locked. I did his locks and he actually got them retwisted for Thanksgiving, my baby. So now I'm like, okay, I'm not cooking today. So I ordered IHOP per their request because they did not want cereal again. Apparently they had already made some cereal and some uh, grits and oatmeal this morning. So anyways, they are enjoying their pancakes and scrambled eggs and hash browns. I made a mess. I'm over there cleaning up, getting them together again before the teacher arrives. And then so I'm going upstairs. They told me they cleaned up, but y'all know how kids are. So I have to go upstairs and make sure that the game room area, which is where they homeschool, is good to go. My home office is also upstairs, so when they are learning, I am not working in my office so I'm making sure I get everything I need so that I can work while they're working and I needed to put in a load of laundry also um, <laughs> yeah y'all it's real out here teacher is about to arrive in about five minutes and I realized oh snap girl you're still in your PJs you still haven't combed your own hair so I'm in the restroom getting myself together really really quick um, I know I said I did a, a speed up on this video, but in real life, I was really moving fast, y'all. <laughs> Getting myself together for the teacher's arrival. The kids are like, Ms. Isabel's here? Yes, and I'm out. Y'all have fun. And I forgot that I needed to eat. So they are upstairs. I'm eating. My little nephew is running back and forth up and down the stairs i'm calling for him making sure he knows he can't go up there and i'm like dude just sit with me eat with me talk to me enjoy some time um and i'm getting some things done on facebook as well on my phone so um y'all this is like my life every day um, i have to be a mom that's a must and i also still have a business to run so yeah for those of you who are following me on facebook you probably saw this post took a picture with my nephew it's always good for marketing anyways right to throw some lifestyle out there so i'm finishing up my pancakes and eggs and hash browns and entertaining my four-year-old nephew <laughs> all at the same time you guys and catching up on emails um finished up and do what mommy's doing so now i gotta clean up the table i have to sweep up i have to mop up my husband bought this really cool tool that actually vacuums and mops at the same time so awesome i love him for that now i have to wash these awesome dishes that my kids left for me we ate on paper plates so i was shocked at seeing the dishes in the sink um, i try to avoid that as often as i can so yeah, so anyways, I'm finishing up the dishes. Jojo actually took the trash out just before I fed him breakfast and um, cleaning up after myself. Y'all, how many of y'all can relate to this? Like, when do a mom ever rest? Only when we're sleeping, right? So then I realized he took out the trash but left one bag of trash in the house, so I took it out. Now, I'm back in my bedroom, my temporary office, and I'm trying to get my nephew to go to sleep, y'all. This has been a challenge. He don't want to miss out on anything. So he got this little dinosaur, he has his toys, and I'm like, dude, you want me to read to you? He was like, yeah. 
Well, clearly he's not interested in hearing me read Million Dollar Habits by Brian Tracy. <laughs> but that is my book to read at the moment. I put on his cartoons so he can go and watch his cartoons while I um, read to him. Because you'll soon see that he's just not that into it. But I still have to get my reading in for the day um, as well. Um, and again, this is on speedo time, okay? Um, and so after I read a few pages to him, I'm like, okay. Or for myself, obviously, I had some emails to catch up on. Had a Christmas video I needed to finish and get sent to my team. And an uh, email set up for my team of agents as well. Um, yeah, so this micromanaging thing looks a little different when you're a work from home mom. <laughs> you're not managing people, but you're managing a whole household. So I'm over here creating a few flyers to get out the way. My nephew over here looking at me with a side eye like, is she really thinking that I'm about to go to sleep right now? She have another thing coming. I got a phone call. Um, I don't even remember what the phone call was. Oh, it was um, my ship driver. So I ordered some groceries. She was calling and told me that a few of the items were not available. I had to tell her what I would like as a substitution. And I got right back to work. Instagramming, Facebooking. Um, and y'all, I'm doing my thing on, on uh, TikTok too. I'm excited about that. So yeah, so uh, obviously I'm looking at my um, email, tickling him, trying to get him to calm down. Go to sleep, little boy. He won't do it. He just would not do it. You guys, um, my kids, for those of you who are wondering, are 7, 8, and 21. Um, two, the two youngest are at home. and yeah, The two youngest are at home, so this is my little nephew here paying a visit for this week. So what I do, I make a lot of um, posts online. I have to get back to team members. I had a few questions pop up today about travel. Um, I had some Instagram requests that actually came from YouTube. People are looking on YouTube for additional ways of earning income. And so I'm responding to those messages as best and as fast as I can. I still have some other things to get to um, as well. So if you guys are watching this and you're wondering, can I do this? I have a full plate already. Yes, I know you have a full plate. And y'all can see I have a full plate too. So even though this just speeding through about five minutes of video, I probably could have cut it down a little bit more for you guys. This was actually one hour of my time uh, sitting down just catching up on all the things that I need to do. <laughs> it's so funny. And yeah, y'all, I work from two cell phones. I'm actually recording on my iPhone. I have an Android, which is my preferred cellular device of choice to use. I love my Samsung 10 Plus. It's amazing. I also have an iPad, and I'm over here working on my iPad. <laughs> and um, I have my MacBook. I have two MacBooks, actually. And so I love all my devices, and I use all of them, and I need all of them for different reasons. Um, so yeah, anyways, my nephew is very, very restless. Um, how many of you actually run a business at home with kids? I tell people don't ever, ever call me a stay-at-home mom. I am at home. I am here every day, all day. Most times I don't drive or leave or run errands a lot. But I am working from home. It is a real work life experience you guys um, so this has just been you know an exciting journey I look back to when I was working in corporate America and I'm like man I miss my babies I always wondered what they were doing I dreamed of being a full-time mom I didn't know what it would look like and turns out y'all I was forced forced into this role in my life I was forced into this uh, four years ago when my corporate job decided that they no longer needed me so 
this is so funny watching this. I'm actually doing a voiceover right now. And what's funny is, you know, I'm over here and I'm like, man, my life is crazy, crazy busy. So, um, yeah, so working on all my devices, getting things done. And then I heard the doorbell ring. And so I'm like, oh, that is awesome. The doorbell rang. It is time to go get these groceries. So they're doing a touchless system. Put my little four-year-old nephew to work. He helped me put all those groceries in the kitchen. And just as I'm getting ready to unload all the all the uh, groceries, it's snack time for the kids. So the kids come downstairs, or came downstairs, excuse me, with their teacher. And Aiden is like so super excited. He's like, man, this is so cool. Um, but we have company. So anyways, the kids got their snack. This is a time that I catch up with the teacher. I'm usually sitting down with them, but as you guys can see, I still had groceries to put away. And she is totally used to me momming it and her being able to do her thing with the kids as well. Um, and yeah, finally, I got Aiden to sleep, y'all. And it's just half 